Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. So, Playwright got a new version uh, 1.19. Uh, we have discussed about the version 1.17, but after that we have two major releases like 1.18 and 1.19. We'll see all the features and the, what are the code changes are there in the upcoming videos. In this video, I'm going to focus on the Playwright VS Code extension from the Microsoft, which is really awesome. And I have said so many times that playwright is a game changer this is one of the example for that let us see the updates here okay so first of all if you go to uh, vs code uh, you can go to extensions and you can search for playwright and here we have this extension from microsoft okay so you have to install it once we install it will uh, if you are going to create a new project that is fine but if you have if you are going to install this in your old project like i did in my uh, this tutorial project so here it asked me to update the playwright version to 1.19 i think from that version only it's uh, supported okay so of course you have to go to your uh, package.json file and here you have to update your playwright test and the playwright version like 1.19 okay that's it the first one and unfortunately uh, like uh, here this is my new vs code with a folder called a demo uh, in here we can create a project with the help of like Control shift p uh, that is used to bring your command prompt and command palette and there you can search search for like playwright and here we have three options install playwright record playwright test and to refresh playwright test once you click on the install playwright it will ask you like what are the process you want and also if you want to add the github actions unfortunately in my case i'm getting some error i'm not able to install this not sure if it's re related to my uh, vs code or my system but i think it should work in your case if not do let me know in the comments probably we can raise a bug in the uh, github uh playwright github okay uh yeah so that's how we can install now uh, so you don't have to create package.json or you don't have to create a project just install the extension vs code extension and you can create the project this is the first update uh, second one of course uh, once we update the 1.19 version we will get new browsers from the chromium firefox and the webkit uh, so that already we know once we update uh, the browsers are going to update okay now coming back to the ex existing project uh, so here now we got a new section this one testing if you go inside that you can see like number of test cases we have we can get all the tests here within this particular section okay so uh, like if you want to execute you can click here like you can execute all the tests you can do the debug you can do the recording and if you are adding new test you can just click on the refresh it will refresh the whole list there are a lot of features i will show you one by one so first we'll go with the recording feature okay you can go from like Control shift p command palette and then you can go to like playwright and you can say like record playwright test you can click on that or else here also we have an option to record you can do it from this particular section okay so i'm going to go with this one uh, record playwright test and see the beauty here so here like we are getting the test like import test from playwright test the test name and basically test some name and here we'll get the browser uh, chromium okay and then i can say like let code uh, dot in by default the recorder supports in the chromium and here i'm just going to do some login test and i'm going to show you how to record okay so we are now in this let code dot in and here you can see like the code is generated so what happens in previously uh, we know that playwright will bring up a browser console there we'll get all our test and we have to copy the test and we have to paste it here as a test file right but now with the help of this new extension whatever we are going to do in the browser that will be reflected it will be changed into code and we can see the file we don't have to even save the file the file is already saved that is really awesome right now let's go and do some login test probably the easiest one i can do so here i'm going to give my credential and i'm going to hit tab and then i'm going to give my password and then i'm going to click on login and let me bring it here yeah and then i'll just scroll down i'll go to the uh, explore workspace and probably i can go to the drop down and from there let's say that i'm going to select this one so previously if you remember i said that in uh, the recording video uh, fifth or sixth video for in our playlist drop downs are not supported at that time but now you can see like we can select the value so for example i'm going to select this orange and then i'm going to click on this sign out okay that's it we are pretty much done 
now you can close the browser or here you can see here we have cancel button so if i click cancel the browser is going to get closed and we got the test that's it pretty much cool right so we got all the test like all the steps with the uh comments and yeah this is something really good but still there is a place to implement for example if you see this locator this drop down instead of uh finding the proper it took based on the text which is not great but a recorder can able to do this that is really awesome okay and other than that i think a lot of the like a has a text drop drop down uh this explorer explorer as a text expat uh, that are really good okay so how to execute is very simple so here you can see like this one right so click to run the test you are able to see this option because of the extension vs code extension so let's click on that let's see how it's going to run so here you can select test dot to spec uh this cycle kind of uh symbol that means this is going to execute now and that should bring up our firefox browser why it's bringing firefox browser in the sense uh, in my config file i have set it to firefox so based on your playwright config file it will execute i will show you that in a moment okay so it's going to the drop down and it's selecting the orange and then it's waiting for this uh, uh for this toast message to disappear okay once that is disappeared it will click on the sign in but i think i have some code issue that is not uh, disabling uh, but you got the idea right so here we have a failure so you can see the failure like what is exactly happening the entire logs can we see here and here you can see like already i have executed twice uh, some other test i believe so that result i can see and here also you can select pending operation this doesn't uh, click so the click sign out is not at click so that's why you're getting so you can clear the test report here and also you can see the beauty like the time of execution for each and every step so to load the website it took around five seconds and uh, to click on the login it is like almost like half a millisecond and this is also more than uh, less than half a millisecond so you can see like each and every steps uh, how it performed and what is the time it took so if something is taking much time probably you can uh ask your developer to fix it for example this let code website it's loading like for five seconds which is really bad i think it should load at least like two seconds that will be a great but yeah so we got the idea right so this is how we can see now another interesting feature is basically the debugging before that here we can select the playwright config file i have set it to firefox that's why it's running in the firefox based on your config file it is it will uh execute okay so i'm going to bring back this to chromium now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some of the existing test so if i go to the test explorer not sure what they call it i call it like test explorer that is something like in your uh n unit n unit also we have this kind of feature i think this is what they are trying to replicate maybe okay and if you want you can search it here but i'm going i will go from here maybe like locator api locator in detail yeah so this is the test i want to exit okay so if i go right click and if i say like go to test and i think double click should open the test but here we have to do like right click and go to test and here we can see so when we have a described block we can click on this you can see like double arrow that means like it will execute all the tests so here i have one test and another one is just a console log okay so both tests it will execute but if you want to execute only one test you can just simply click on this particular icon and that will start executing this entire test now we can see that uh, execution is started and it should bring up my chromium browser let's wait and see these guys are still loading that should not happen actually but yeah okay taking more time than expected i'm just going to uh, stop it and why this is still running it's not running actually yeah it stopped okay now i'm going to click on this uh, green color icon so that the test will begin from the first yeah so you can see like the chromium browser launched and the test is completed it's very fine this is also fine like this is like the extension what i created earlier that is similar. so here i will get like run playwright test here we are getting this button that is okay but the great feature is the debug feature and trust me it's a game changer why i'm telling let me tell you so here if i right click and if i say like um 
like run test if i uh, click on this like run test uh, sorry debug test yeah debug test let's see what happens i have set a debug point here and here as well right so let's see how it's going to debug we can debug in the chromium firefox and as well as in the uh, web kit based on your config file you can do the changes okay so here you can see like we got this browser in the chromium and i don't know how i'm going to show it uh yeah so let me bring this here yeah so i'm going to click on this step over so here you can select the url is loaded right now the beauty part is like if you want to test the locator in real time whether it's a correct or not for example if i'm going to click on this particular line like a uh, page dot locator input placeholder equal to password if i click on that you can see on the left hand side in the browser there is a highlight okay so whatever the locator i'm going to click from here from my test script that will be highlighted in the browser i think this is the unique feature if you compare this with web driver uh, selenium web io or cypress we don't have this feature at least to my knowledge i never seen a uh, feature like this from me uh, the team itself the player at team itself of course you might be having some third party but the from the team itself this is a really great unique feature okay so if you want to change something like let's say that uh, instead of password i have given like password one then this is error this is wrong right so we are not getting any highlighted when we give the correct one this is highlighting so for example if i click on this username you can see the highlight over there as well okay and let's go to the next one so here you can select paste dot locator and we here we have something like drop down if i click on that nothing is highlighting because no drop down is in this page now i'm going to step forward uh, so it's it will fill that uh, username then it will fill the password and then it will click on the login button and along with that also you can see like uh, that time and here uh, let's go to the next one yeah so here is the drop down this a to z right so if i if i uh, click on this you can see it is already highlighting because we are on that line if i click on this you can see like multiple highlights are there right so you can see like multiple highlights are there i don't know why i'm showing the finger like you are sitting in front of me sorry for that okay and here uh, it's basically trying to get this uh, locator with this multiple so locator supports single element as well as multiple by default it's a strict that means only single will be supported but when we do like multiple like if you're trying to get the first or if you're going to get the use the get function then it will act as a multiple elements okay a lot of you guys ask me on that in the comments i think that is the answer okay so here if i click on that you can see like there are multiple but here we are focusing on the first so that should work fine so i'm going to close it now i'm going to click on the continue button and yeah so the test is completed and as usual playwright is fast as ever and yeah that is the new feature of this playwright test and that is really good one more feature is also there uh, like for example if, when we click on this right click uh, you can see like ex execute using profile that means like um, uh, for example uh, if you have multiple projects you will get based on the projects projects topics i didn't covered it uh, but i will try to cover that so project is basically like if you want to run the same test in different browser uh, let's say that you want to run one one in uh, firefox one in chrome uh, with the same test with a different configuration we can do that with the help of project i didn't cover that but i will try to cover that in the next video okay so this is a really cool extension from vs code i mean from the playwright uh, microsoft and that's really cool and if you're going to start with playwright now you don't have to do all the installation and everything and even uh, from my tutorial in the previous uh, the playlist what i have is basically if you see like now we have around 80 videos the first 10 videos will be around the gist but i will not recommend you to use the gist anymore of course i have said that several times you can trust the player test itself and that's a really cool one okay so that's it for my side uh, i hope you have learned something new and this extension is really cool if you think so do let me know in the comments thanks for watching see you in the next one uh, uh, in the next video very soon and also uh, we got two releases uh, i didn't cover those but i will try to cover those in our upcoming videos and yeah thanks for watching say bye bye